Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Martin Valley Community College. This is for CSIT 105, Foundations of Computer Science. And um, this video is for the download and install of um, NetBeans. Um, and, okay, in Canvas, I do have a page that has a link that takes you directly to the download page. And so what I want to do here is sort of navigate my way down to that point of the download. Um, well, the um, netbeansapache.org, netbeansapache.org um, is um, where you would go to to begin. In the upper right-hand corner here, there's download. Um, and the Apache NetBeans um, 12, that's the one that we're going to be using. So I'll click the download button here. Okay, now, um, depending on your operating system, it's one of these three things right here that you would click. Um, so for those that are using Mac would uh, do this. Um, those using um, Linux um, would you would click on this those using Windows would click on this I'm on a Windows computer um, and so let's pretend I just went and I clicked on that button um, I made a copy I, I put it down to a subfolder uh, but here this is the um, um, file that is downloaded it is 360 meg in size so it's a it's a Depending on your connection, it may take a while to download that file. Um, but after it's downloaded, um, and your antivirus software, just double check that it's okay. Um, when you double click on it, do this one over here, um, then this would be the installer for uh, uh, the, the NetBeans. Um, and I don't think there's a need to do any customization here, so just doing next. Um, then, of course, you know, agreeing your life away. Uh, <laughs> next. Um, and this would be, if you're using the C drive, if, if you took the default, especially for the JDK, um, then there's nothing to do. Just go and click on Next. If you're using a different drive, you would want to go and um, pick the different drives. Now, here, I already did, previous to this, did the install for the Java JDK. Um, and that is the f a folder where um, the Java JDK is. Uh, otherwise, once I'm okay with the drive letter assignments, I'll do next. Um, and it'll. Whoop, um, whoop, whoop. Sorry, I had a little uh, blip in the uh, uh, video there. Um, I actually had to backtrack uh, a little bit. So, this is the last sort of a summary. Uh, before going, uh, continuing on and clicking install. Whether or not you do the check for updates, that's going to be, um, one thing's going to depend on things like your internet connection, how re you know, reliable it is, um, or even if you always have one available, um, you, you could choose not to actually do the check for updates. Um, and that's, I'll, I, I left it checked because I want the latest and greatest of, uh, of, of NetBeans. So, um, after you click the install, now this part right here, this may take a while, depending on the speed of your uh, processor, uh, the speed of your hard drive, uh, but it may take a while um, to go through this part, but you do see the progress bar. Um, and then eventually, um, it will um, finish. Um, and so, now after the finish, okay, let's... Um, Uh, I'm sorry. Let's come here. Let me do NET. Here's the Apache NetBeans. Um, depending on, well, that was relatively quick. That's because this is take two. Um, take one, that took a long time for the to pass that screen. <laughs> okay. Um, and so um, here, here's NetBeans. And I have, since I recently worked on some of the projects, those are here. Uh, and sometimes the convenience thing is, is if you want to go jump uh, on a particular project, you can just go and then uh, click it from there. Um, <clears throat> and now the other video, the Hello World video, will take you through the creation of a project and um, 
uh, the running of it. Um, so probably one thing after this is to then go check out that Hello World video. I do want to point out one thing, though, is when um, the very first time you start NetBeans, it hasn't yet created the folder and the documents uh, folder on your computer. As soon as you go and create the first uh, project, let me go and, uh, you know, I, I do have a shortcut to it because I'm into it so often. Um, but under documents, there, um, after you create the first project, then there will be the NetBeans projects folder created, and then your NetBeans projects by default will be there. You can choose to create your NetBeans projects elsewhere. Um, I just kind of group mine uh, together. And if you're saying, hey, how come there's only 14? Because I actually made a backup before upgrading to NetBeans 12. Um, I, I actually took all my other NetBeans projects out um, of this folder. So I, I actually have like 160 something or other. Um, I only have 14 here in this uh, uh, in this list. Okay, so um, what that was just showing is the steps to go through to acquire the installation file. I showed a couple of the screens for the installation itself, and then I just showed the the opening of uh, of NetBeans. Um, and so now um, the next video for you to look for is going to be the Hello World uh, video.